Uh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna start. Kyle wakes up. He is famous. Kyle is the, is the host of a, the most popular talk show in recent memory, Stay Up Late with Kyle. At least I'm not saying Carl at this time. <sighs> Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year, and public has noticed. Inside is called Kyle the most excellent dumpy white man. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. Yeah, the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She's a kind and lovely philanthropist. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his action wisely. Start. Alright, so I know that while I didn't record the whole lizard thing, um, there's gotta be something else I can do with that. So I gotta wither away. Um, Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Woohoo! Shucks. Kyle's now a ghost. This is not really even his responsibilities. Let's get out of bed anyway. Alright. Uh, scavenge. I want those bugs. See if that can help me. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for bugs. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon he had a small handful of various insects dead and alive. Save for later. Kyle stashed the wiggling mask for later use. Back to bedroom. Alright, I'm pretty sure- I'm hoping this might be gonna save my humanity? Do you think it'll work, Isabel? I'm not sure. Alright. Thanks for the vote of confidence. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's go into the bed hallway and check the locked door. Float through as a ghost. Kyle used ghostly powers to walk straight through the door. Let's go inside. Kyle found himself in a room. He stashed various items sent to his fans. Alright, check supernatural artifact and smash the artifact. Kyle began patting the mysterious artifact with both fists. Within hours, uh, within a few hours, it became dust. An ancient force trapped in the artifact re is released and Kyle is turned into a lizard demon. Back to room. I still don't really know what the freaking uh, sewing machine is for. I don't understand what the hell I'm supposed to use it for. Wait, is there a use for it? I don't know. I'll, I'll come back some other time. I need it. Alright. Um, let's go back to the bedroom. And... I probably should put some clothes on this time. Choose an outfit. I really don't want to get out as a damn nudist again because... I forgot to put clothes on and get that damn ending again. Kyle decided to take some time and choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Jeans and a swimming goggle. Let's see how that goes. Kyle decided to go on a fashion forward casual style. He could barely see out of the goggles. Alright, let's go back bedroom and then to the desk. And write the notes for the interview. Is your mother a mother? Beef, mashed or blended. Do you ever smile? And then the last question, are you guilty? Kyle ripped um, his page of notes out of the notebook and got it from his desk. Alright, let's go back to the room, and I think that's it. Ah, shit, I didn't eat. Ah, am I gonna starve to death now? Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he's... Yeah, per, per normal, he sees being a ghost before he arrived, because apparently that's normal. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with air ingenuity. Kyle approached her, and Rachel looked up and smiled. Approach Rachel. Rachel's smile turned to horror as she realized she was looking at a human, human, but not a lizard demon. Wait, but a lizard demon. Pandemonium ensued. Scripts went flying. Crew members ran in all directions. Lights were knocked over. Ah, oh, shit. The bug thing didn't work. As Kyle watched the chaos from around him, his lizard demon, de demon form enveloped his last shred of humanity. 
Cow grew to massive size. Within several minutes, he demolished the now empty set. A local force of five spunky teenagers in brightly colored apparel pre arrived at the scene to fight Kyle. As the teenagers swung at him with their spunky individualized weapons, Kyle pushed them over with his foot. Kyle's rampage of his studio ruins continued, but in another part of the city, a hero was rising up. In a dusty apartment on the top floor of the old skyscraper in the oldest part of town sat a large man named Frank. Few people in the world knew that Frank existed. Fewer knew his name. Frank was watching the local news. A story about the studio rampage was playing. Quickly, Frank got from, up from his chair. He opened a small hidden door hidden behind a wall on his po poster on his wall. Inside was an unbelievable mound of fat ridden food, unrefrigerated and fairly rotten. Frank began to consume the mound at a frightening rate. His body began to puff. Frank expanded faster and faster with each minute. He burst through the roof. For the minutes, Frank was a towering behemoth. He rolled across the city, rebounding off buildings and getting tears from onlookers below. Approaching Kyle, Frank gave a long, painful heave um, upwards into the sky. To Kyle, the sky turned black. He looked upward. to see a monstrous figure hurtling towards him. <laughs> Shit, I'm sorry to laugh. <laughs> and in a moment, Kyle was completely enveloped in rubbery fat, unable to make a move or make noise. Frank was quite tired and passed out where he lay. Several years went by as Frank slumbered. As Kyle was held in Frank's warm, fatty embrace, his humanity began to return. When the first winter came, Frank's body recycled his fat for resources. Over many months, he shrank in size. Eventually, Kyle was human and Frank was thinned. They both walked away from the scene as new men. Neither realized how much time had passed. Okay, yeah, that was the thirteenth. That was the thirteenth ending that I apparently accidentally got again. All right, so I don't really know how to how to keep his humanity. I'm sure it has something to do with those bugs. Oh, well, I'm going to try one of the other endings and see how that goes. Alright. Um, Wither Way. Kyle decided to stay put and wither away. Kyle withered successfully and died. Shucks. You know, nobody really says shucks in real life. <laughs> Kyle's now a ghost. This is not receive him of his responsibilities. Get out of bed anyway. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around the bedroom. Alright, I'm gonna do the ending where, um, I call Rachel May out on her crimes. And see how that goes. Kyle made way over to his desk and sat down. Chicken desk door. I'm not really sure why I looked in here, but whatever. Alright, we're gonna take the small key. Wait, what can I do that lard in there? Actually, let's do that, yeah. Um, write notes for the interview. And then, let's pick the same three I usually pick. Four, my bad. And go figure out what the hell I can do with that lard. Oh wait, let's open the closet first. Um, hey, what do I wear today? Suit of armor. Kyle was unsure of what exactly caused him to decide to wear his armor, but it felt like the right thing to do. I don't know, squeezing and sweating, Kyle managed to wrap the metal around, metal suit around his dumpy self. Wait, did you know suit of armor are, are actually really flexible? Alright, I'm um, going to the kitchen and check the pantry. Alright, unlock of the small key. The pantry door lock lock creaked as if it hadn't been moved for years but eventually opened. Look in the pantry. Instead of, instead of a assorted amount of canned goods and grains, Cal's pantry stored a massive amount of bottled lard. Alright, grab a bottle of lard and see what the hell I do with this later. Kyle grabbed a bottle of lard and stashed it on his person for later use. Right, open the fridge. Um, Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna eat the condiments again. <laughs> Kyle started to grab the condiments from the fridge, squirting them into his mouth with both hands. At the rate, at, at the rate with 
the rate at which ketchup and soy sauce and other items enter Kyle's mouth soon overrode his ability to swallow. Kyle spewed the excess condiments across the kitchen, covering the furniture and the walls. Kyle continued until all the condiments had been empty. Okay, and now we're going to the set. Um, Kyle hurried to the set. Per normal, he sees being a ghost before he arrived. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with, a, with an air of genuity. As Kyle appro approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. I really want to know what I can do with that lard. Can I do anything with it? Can I throw back. it at Rachel? Wow. Okay. Kyle responded, spin, scream and spin in circles. Kyle started to stretch out his arms wide, tilted his neck upward, and is interrupted by the damn producer telling him and Rachel that Sorry, apparently they're barking. Okay, sorry. Start interview. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. Start broadcast. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Kyle motioned to Ra Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we had a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in. Oh, I can drink the lard right now! Okay, let's drink that, see what happens. Drink lard. Dive right into this bottle, that is. Kyle pulled out his bottle of lard, bit the top off, and chugged it. <laughs> Kyle's body rejected the lard. He began, <laughs> he began spewing chunks of lard and digestive food in every direction. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything within 10-foot ten, within ten radius was immediately covered, ra including Rachel. <laughs> Kyle continued to vomit. <laughs> what? Me, Rachel bravely saw, um, fought to stay seated and missed the vomit, hoping to save the show from disaster. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kyle's vomit had covered all the cameras. There was no <laughs> broadcast. Kyle finished spewing eventually. The broadcast was not recoverable. All present were sent home to try again another day. As Kyle got home, he made a mental note to refill his large supply. Why? <laughs> okay, so this one's called Kyle Consumed. Okay, so I know what I can do with the lard now. Well, damn. <laughs> okay.